welcome back. Here we are at Cape Decoy again. So we have a pond today. We have a, um, it's actually our plant pond right now that we sell out of. It's the slow season. So we're not really selling too many plants right now. We do have some Japanese koi coming in tonight and we're gonna uh, convert this pond into a quarantine tank. Right now, we're just sitting there with a, a pretty standard pump just for circulation. So now we're gonna hook up a, a uh, pressurized filter that I got secondhand. We have a submersible pump that's gonna be installed to it. It's got a built-in UV. It's a little dirty right now, so we're gonna have to clean the media inside so you can see what the insides look like and just uh, you know how to take them out and clean them a little more securely or efficiently, I should say. And uh, we've got some small fish in there now we, that started out as, as just some little fry over the, over the spring. We're gonna move them into another pond. We had them just picking at the roots and hanging out in there, just growing out just to see what they're gonna turn into. So moving them, we're gonna, um, install the uh, the pumps here like I said and then we're going to get the the uh, our beneficial bacteria we have them in from all the pond which it's super simple we're just going to take our our old uh, media pads from the other pond just put them in so if you ever need more bacteria this is how you get bacteria from one to the other for free so stick around and uh, we'll see you on the next little clip all right come on let's head on okay so what we're going to do here is now we're going to pump all the water out now there's just way too much debris the water's filthy and uh, that's nice and clean and crystal clear and uh, here's our pump we always keep a backup pump on hand just for emergencies so it also uh, uses as our when we have to drain ponds this one here have the discharge into the yard fertilize the grass and uh, this will be emptied out in probably 10 minutes. All right, so I gotta move all the little fish, gonna put them in a bucket. I have an aerator going, and uh, I got my trusty koi net here. It's a 30 incher, right there. Uh, this is what I use mainly for my, uh, my larger fish, or basically all fish, but they do great for catching the little ones too. So I'm gonna scoop them up, transfer, and get to pumping all the water out. So I just pulled this one up. I just did a quick scoop, and I believe so. This is a doitsu. See, it has a just a few scales on it. The, all the white is just pure pure skin, and then you can see the uh, the silvery scales. But what, if you look at its head, it looks like it could be developing a a circle right there, and um, could could be turning into a tancho. So that'd be pretty neat to see that. This is the fish here. Pretty fish. Okay, it's time to release them. Both temperatures feel good. to help secure it or a cinder block and then plug it in. So I just got a pump in the mail. Um, I was able to pick it up at a at a local uh, koi group, and uh, they the guy lived a couple hours away. I ordered it uh, two days ago, and bam, it's here. So I'm, I'm gonna set this up 
with a, a pressurized filter and then that's going to be my filtration so i did some quick calculations on on this pond here this raised pond and it is 900 gallons so um, this is for a minimum is a 2,000 gallon an hour pump it's between 2,000 to 5,400 and the the pressurized filter it's a, a, a tetra one that i was able to pick up um, second hand also and uh, it is a minimum of 2,500 gallons so do the math i'm gonna have to rotate this thing about three times an hour which is it's okay uh, especially if i have heavy fish load which i won't this time but i know i'm going to be cycled and uh, you know my ammonias and, and so on will, will be taken care of quite easily so and then i'm also going to add this to this filter i'm going to put some some um actually some filtration some excess from my my main pond and that's going to help me get my beneficial bacteria going so i'm going to clean some of my pads put some in a bucket then pour it in my in my filter here and that'll kickstart my beneficial bacteria colony and it'll get going real fast so i'm gonna show you what we have to to use for this uh, setup here and then we're gonna hook it up this is the pressurized filter it has backwash capabilities pretty easy setup here's the pump right here so this could be internal or external for, uh, for obviously being in the water or out of the water so uh, very nice feature so um, that's what attracted me to this one and it's extremely energy efficient so um, powerful energy efficient and universal so pretty nice What's really nice is that it actually has a, has a controller to go with it as well. So um, that's really nice to see my water flow. Super nice, uh, nice feature. There it is, nice and pretty. All right, I'm gonna further unwrap. So I'm gonna put the, the filter right here, right between the two pots. Run my pipe right in here. Just run it down inside for um, in the pump right here and feed it and get my circulation. Now we gotta dig. That's it right here, a little dry fit. All I need to do is pack the soil slash sand back in there. I have my my, uh, my pipes here, inlet, outlet, back flush. Uh, this cord here is for UV, and I have a uh, I have some dedicated outlets over there for for all this to be plugged in. All right, time to clean this out. Pretty filthy. All right, so I've got this set up here. I'm gonna um, pour all this media in here. You can see it's just filled with dirt, tons of, tons of trash. So I'm gonna pour it in the net, rinse it off so all the dirt goes out so I can collect a lot easier. If you ever have to do that, just, just a little helpful trick. Rather than trying to spray, dump, spray, and dump, that'll take forever. So, go in there. That's a lot of trash. So I'll pick those few up. Watch out, don't trip. All right, got them clean. Here we go. This is him. Quite a bit. Now I got to put them in in the filter right here. Okay, so this is the fitting for that attaches to the pump. So we're gonna remove these two so we don't have restricted water. So we're gonna slide that on there and we're gonna cut them off right here. I'm gonna push that on a little bit further, get a nice snug fit, and this will be good for inside the pump. This is the chamois, right? All right, let's put it in, put it in the pond. After making it to length, now it's time to cut it. A simple knife, just a pocket knife will work. You can also get snips, but these work just fine. Now to tighten up the other side. 
I have some old um, pipe strap right here. So I'm gonna strap this down to the wood just so it uh, spills over and stays secure so there's no way for it to fall off and then uh, empty my pond. Dry fit for the water control. Here's a moment of truth, see, see how it works. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the, the beneficial bacteria from my old pond or from my original pond, and then this will be my colony. I'm gonna dump this right in the water. It'll then go into the current filter and I'll get a colony. So I'm just gonna dump this right onto the filter. It'll go or yeah, I'm sorry, right over the pump, and it'll go right into the filter. And that's essentially going to be my, my colony right here. All right, and that's it. That's a quarantine tank. It took about an afternoon's worth of time. If you have a bunch of spare lumber, even sometimes you'll see broken down decks and all sorts of things, you could reuse that lumber to, to build one of these. Uh, highly recommend having them for being just part of your fish keeping. Um, if you ever have new fish, it's good to quarantine them. If you have sick fish, you quarantine them. That way you don't have to treat your whole pond. Um, it's pretty expensive if you have to do entire pond treatments and uh, this will really help cut down your costs and also just really help you monitor your fish overall. Uh, if you would, hit the like button and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and, uh, you're gonna, and then you can hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when our next videos come up. So this quarantine tank was made specifically in mind for two fish that are coming tonight from Japan. And also over the weekend, I have another Japanese show coming and they're all gonna go in here. So I'll be making a video on them. So, so hit subscribe to stay tuned for the next one. And I also have a, uh, a very simple PVC frame that I'm making, I'm gonna wrap that in, in netting and that's gonna keep the fish from jumping out. So this will be coming in the near future too. So um, stay tuned for, for the new ones. And until next time, thanks for being part of Cape Fear Koi. And be kind to each other. We'll see you next time.